The first picture of India's Jirawa light tank developed and built by DRDO and Larson and Tubro has emerged on social media. Airbus has delivered the 4th and 5th C-295 transport aircraft to the Indian Air Force. India has issued a no-time warning for a designated range of 230 km from 17 July to 26 July. CRPF troops have received MKU's latest ACH ballistic helmet that are compatible with a wide range of devices like night vision. The DRDO is procuring welding elements and fasteners for scramjet engine that will be used for long duration test of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. India's domestic defense production hit a record 1.27 lakh crore rupees in 2023, registering a growth of 16.7% over 2022. The Philippine military chief General Romeo Brona Jr. has said that Philippine forces will defend themselves with the same level of force if they come under attack again from China's Coast Guard in the disputed South China Sea. Thailand has sent a liaison officer to Indian Navy's Information Fusion Center, which keeps an eye on any movement in the Indian Ocean. The first secretary-level meeting between the defense ministries of India and Congo was held in New Delhi, and the two sides identified areas of collaboration to boost defense cooperation. The Aeronautical Development Agency is looking at innovative cooling solutions for the AMCA, that includes active cooling of the engine bay and nozzle, that is crucial for maintaining stealth capabilities. Traditional engine bay ventilation systems often rely on inlet scoops to draw in cooling air, however, these scoops can create unwanted radar signatures, hindering the stealth properties. Aeronautical Development Agency is conducting feasibility studies using computational fluid dynamics simulations for an engine bay ventilation using an ejector nozzle, and initial findings suggest that the ejector nozzle approach holds promise for achieving engine bay ventilation at supersonic speeds, as well as reduced radar signature and improved aerodynamics. Hindustan Aeronautics has started tweaking the LCH platform for potential future technologies, even if the armed forces haven't explicitly requested them yet. Drawing lessons from the Ukraine conflict, HAL anticipates a growing demand for integrating UAVs with attack helicopters, that would involve large display screens and helmet-mounted displays for enhanced situational awareness. Apart from integration of third-generation air-launched anti-tank guided missiles, HAL has already started discussions with established loitering munition manufacturers, to seamlessly integrate loitering munitions and expendable armed drones with the existing weaponry of the LCH. The Ministry of Defense is all set to approve the procurement of 2,000 units of 155mm terminally guided munitions, while the long-term requirement stands at a staggering 33,372 rounds. Five domestic companies will soon demonstrate their prototypes, that includes Munitions India Limited, Adani Defense Systems, Bharat Forge Limited, Economic Explosives Limited, and Premier Explosives Limited. The domestically produced TGMs will cost around 80 lakh rupees per munition, that is nearly 50% less than imported options. The TGMs are equipped with built-in electronic counter-countermeasure capabilities, and the seeker technology allows these munitions to lock onto targets that are illuminated by external laser designators. Embraer has cast aside plans to develop a stretched C-390 variant for India, as its 26-ton concentrated load-carrying capacity already falls squarely within the Indian Air Force's 18-30-ton to 30 ton load capacity requirement. Embraer has acknowledged that if the Indian Air Force prioritizes a bigger aircraft, it might reconsider its stance to develop a stretched variant. While the Indian Air Force has yet to solidify their specific cargo capacity needs in the medium transport aircraft tender, but if the Air Force also plans to replace their aging IL-76 fleet, it will significantly influence their decision to favor the Airbus A400M with its 37-ton load capacity. Today's Top 3 Comments